all right so this decode today is going to be on the ramones uh punk rock band uh we're going to talk about slipknot as well skull and bones also known as the brotherhood of death so to start off tommy ramone drummer the drummer for the ramones died 163 days after his birthday 163 is the 38th prime number and drummer equals 38 death equals 38 r.i.p equals 38 murder equals 38 killing equals 38 and think about the song by slipknot gematria the killing name a title which equates to 380. So you remove the zero because it's valueless and you have that 38. And Gematra equals 38 itself. So how fitting, and obviously this is, um, you know, English, using English. Um, English equals 38. The first member of Slipknot to die was Paul Gray whose name equals 38, and he was also known as the pig, the pig, a phrase equating to 38, and he died at the age of 38. And the next to die was Joey Jordison, who had no connection to 38 that I'm aware of, besides the fact that he was the drummer for Slipknot. And, you know, like I said, drummer equals 38. But there are some other little connections I'll get into with 46 in a minute. Um, anyways, another member of Ramones was Joey Ramone. And this was the singer, the most famous Ramone, who was 38 years old when the band's most popular song released, or at least the most like successful or whatever. Um, song released Pet Cemetery and we'll talk about that ahead which is some 38 connections I want to throw out real quick to keep in mind for later is the fact that George Bush as he's a member of Skull and Bones we'll get into that George Bush equals 163 this is the 38th prime number. And New Haven. New Haven equals 38. New Haven, Connecticut is where Yale is, which is the university Skull and Bones recruits their members from. So going back to Slipknot, Joey Jordison died at the age of 46. Slipknot equals 46. Sacrifice equals 46, and Paul Gray died 46 days after his birthday, his own birthday. Um, so just showing that connection right there with Slipknot. Um, and now jumping back to Ramones. Um, Tommy Ramone died 202 days before his birthday, and Skull and Bones equals 202 big number with them, and they are the fraternity that is also called the Brotherhood of Death. Ramon's breakout year was 1976, but anyways, Skull and Bones equals 76. 7 slash 6 is George W. Bush's birthday, and this, you know, just keep all this in mind, in Pet Cemetery, the movie released 76 days before George W. Bush's birthday. The movie, um, based off the novel we'll get into and all that. So, the first member of Ramones was, uh, or to die, was Joey Ramone, who famously sang, I don't want to be buried in a pet cemetery, right? The word execute equals 34. Murder equals 34, and Joey Ramon died 34 days before his birthday. Yale 
is the school where Skull and Bones recruit their members from. And Yale is in New Haven, Connecticut, like I said. And New Haven equals 34 as well. Joey Ramone died on Easter Sunday in 2001. And this was 149 days before 9-11. Think about Easter. Some thinking 9-11 is the real birthday of Christ. Um, cause the twin, uh, the 9-11 was a Jesus ritual. And obviously Joey Ramone dying on a Sunday. Like I've said, these rockers, they kind of, um, these rockers will die in Jesus rituals too. This isn't really one, but there seems to be some connection here with that to go in, going into that. But I don't, I didn't find a lot to um, support it further. So, uh, you know, it just seems interesting. You know, it obviously connects though to, you know, what I'm about to show with Skull and Bones, 9-11 obviously. But, um, yeah, so, um, Joey Ramone, though, you know, going back to the 149 connection, he died 149 days before 9-11, and Joey Ramone equals 149, Skull and Bones equals 149. But of course, Skull and Bones was heavily involved in the 9-11 conspiracy with one of their m most powerful members ever being the president at the time, George W. Bush. But there's also a connection that I left out. The phrase, the pirates equals 149. And the Knights Templar, when they had to... um the, the Knights Templar at one time, just to keep it short, they were pirates, okay? They became pirates, and they would throw up false flags. That's where you get the term false flag, like 9-11 was. And it would be of, like, different flags um, m misrepresenting themselves so they could uh, get close to a ship to loot. So that they wouldn't alarm this ship, that they were a threat, you know, um, and for different reasons, so that just they could have an advantage on um, others around them, whoever they wanted to take advantage of, pretty much. But yeah, they were pirates at one time, and that's where, you know, that's why you have this secret society called Skull and Bones. And, you know, there's even a video game, I think, that came out. Yeah. There's a video game that came out, or is going to come out, called... I covered this, but I'm not sure if it came out yet. I think it did. It's called... It's literally a pirate game called Skull and Bones. I mean, that's, you know, not just by accident or coincidence or whatever. Um, that's for a real reason, and... Um, that was, I know some stuff of that was by the numbers too. I've covered that. Just wanted to throw that out there just to have, um, you know, to, I guess, understand more gen, uh, generally about Skull and Bones. So, but anyways, to move on, this was, uh, okay, so George W. Bush had his birthday a span of 83 days after Joey Ramone died. Pet Cemetery, the book released in 1983. Joey died from lymphatic cancer, a phrase equating to 83. Execute equals 83. Murder equals 83. Brotherhood of Death equals 83. Yale University equals 83. And you'll find a lot of time these celebrities go out by the numbers, and their cause of death is cancer. Nah, not really. And uh, that'll be a very, you know, it'll be very clear um, with what I'm about to get into. But um, 
this uh, the song Pet Cemetery released 44 days before George W. Bush's birthday, whose birthday is in the time of cancer, a word equating to 44. Um, four sounds like death in Chinese. So four is, is a number representing death. And three of the members of Ramones died from cancer. All right, so just an interjection real quick. For some reason, I didn't stress the point that there were four total Ramones members that died. One, so three died from cancer, one died from a drug overdose, but that makes four total. A lot of times you'll have these celebrities that'll go out by the numbers, and if their cause of death is cancer, it's most likely fake. That's a cancer is they they use that one they use that one pretty often. So yeah, uh like I said, cancer equals forty four. Kill equals forty four. Execution equals forty four. Pet cemetery equals forty four. Easter Sunday equals forty four, because this is the day Joey Ramon died on, and this makes Ramones the Brotherhood of Death. They weren't real brothers, but do you get the, the, this ritual they pulled? Three, three members of the Ramones, you know, all guys, died from cancer. Re remember, I just edited one clip in, but I'm editing another this clip in because I'm. I know that I'm repetitive here, but this is very important. I want everybody to remember, you know, four represents death and, and the four Ramones. There was four total Ramones members that died. Do you see this brotherhood of death ritual they did? It's a joke to them. It's, it's a sick joke. Um, but yeah, so to continue, in addition, the book. Pet Cemetery released 187 days after or before Joey Ramone's birthday. Brotherhood of Death equals 187. And again, George W. Bush, member of Skull and Bones, has a birthday on the 187th day of the year. Ramone's last studio album was called Adios Amigos. What a title, right? Um, and it released on a date that can be written 18 slash 7. Pet Cemetery, the movie, was an hour and 43 minutes long. Pet Cemetery, the song, released on the 143rd day of the year. And Pet Cemetery equals 143, I believe in the most simple cipher. Johnny Ramone died exactly 41 months after Joey Ramone. Ramones equals 41. And Skull and Bones equals 41. This is kind of another big number with them. Uh, 40, yeah, wait, hold on, let me think about this. Yes, the 41st president of the U.S. was a member of Skull and Bones. This was George W. Bush's dad, George's, uh, George H. W. Bush. So, yeah, it's sick ritual, truly. But uh, that is all I wanted to present. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. Peace.